Hey guys, welcome back to more walls. Oh my goodness, it's a new map. What? And I'm so totally lost already. Um. Oh my. God. Oh, this is backwards. Oh no. Okay. Is it? Is it? Uh. I don't know. <laughs> we've we've actually I done this. It. No, it's not. Okay, it's not. Um. We've actually done this last map. Night. We did this last night, but my somebody. My recording might have just a little bit Boot. failed, um, which isn't really my fault because I didn't realize DX Story wasn't recording, right? Um, yeah, it happens to the best of us. Yeah, and like the little the little thing in the corner uh, made it appear as though it were in fact recording, but it I guess it wasn't. So uh, it is a finicky beast. Yeah. We have a team green to match the colour of the contents of my nose. <laughs> which is dripping out rapidly over everything. Hmm. Lovely so, image there. There is not a lot of coal on this level. No, there is not. But there um, is quite a lot of iron. Yeah. Like, look at this. I've dug down one block and already there's iron. There, it is just filthy with iron. Now, I did find a bunch of coal in this corner. Yeah, here we go. See? So, should be okay. A quick piece of coal. Now, what are you going to do about it? I'm going to leave that iron for a minute because I'm going to go down here to where it is all lavery. But anyway, so we uh, were at Minecon a week ago at this time. Yeah, a week ago at this time, we were at Firkin and Kegler at the Mindcrack party. Party! Which was really fun, um, and I put some footage up from that uh, that you guys should go check out if you want to see what it was like. Um, I might be a little overly excited, uh, but then again, fangirl. Maybe, maybe just a little bit of fangirling. But I, I mean, what I really enjoyed most about ooh, look at that! I can see through the map. Um, what I enjoyed most about the fangirling, mine girl, mine girl, <laughs> minecon experience was. Um, I don't know, it was nice to meet your friends. I mean, we've spent a certain amount of time here with my friends, and that's great and all, but, you know, it's nice to, to sort of see you interact with the people that you interact with a lot. And um, yeah, It's nice to see them. Yes, I really enjoyed that. Um, all right, let's get a little more iron. should be loads more in here. Yeah. I mean, I remember you saying when you were recapping the London meetup, you know, a year ago, that you were, you know, worried that you would never see these people again, and um, it was nice that you got to. Hmm. Well, I've seen uh, Gooden Jeff prior to... Yeah. And you saw... A BTC, I guess, in the last <laughs> week. Yeah, it's not really the the same, though, is it? Um. But, but, you know, that said, you know, I haven't seen Paws since last November. Yeah. I miss him greatly. And hopefully a bunch of people will come out for PAX East. So that's really good. Yeah, the, uh, the named group so far is quite big. Yeah. And hopefully that'll be a less uh, insane event than Minecon was because I mean it, it was nice um, being there with you because we were able to move around the floor and by we I mean you obviously right nobody's stopping me in the halls although to be fair three people at the party recognized who I was or figured out who I was yeah. And um, so that they watched my videos and had me sign the back of the postcard, which was very humbling. And then there were a couple of people at the convention, um, just in general, waiting in line for the Mindcrack panel who recognized me. Um, so that was pretty neat. But that's my, my, that's my that is the thing about Mindcrack fans, is they are genuinely... <sighs> better fans I think they're, they're more in engaged more into it. yeah what, what I was gonna say is that you know you were able to walk around the floor we were able to go and play walls in the little walls area and you weren't assaulted um, 
Yeah. Although you would think that would be a place where we would be most recognized, but um, we weren't being shouty about it. Um, but I think, you know, there were some people who really never didn't get to experience the convention at all because any time they stepped outside of the, you know, the panelist room, they would just get assaulted. And I think PAX East will hopefully be a chance for people to, you Mine know. too short. Mine kind of is too short, yeah. Uh, we were saying that in the meeting this evening that we just didn't get a chance to get together. And yeah. And yeah, that's a shame. It is. Um, I have a stack of iron, and I feel like I just don't need any more. You know? It's like... I'm almost like curious to why people are building furnaces next to mine. But, uh, it's a good question. It's a good question. Like, I guess I'll get a little bit more iron just for the experience. Did you get the um, enchanting table? No, no. Let's see where it is. S s uh, well, I've just broken my pick anyway, so I'm going to go... Cook. I thought it was like here, but clearly I've done a, a wrong one. Hmm. Well, so again, this is our third time ever playing this map. Um, so we really don't know what we're doing. We we genuinely have no real idea of what we're doing. You know, I was going to cook along here, but I think, in fact, I'm going to go back to our regular corner. The last time I went down to there and then came up, and the bang in your face was the. Uh, Table? The thing with the what's it? The what now? Yeah. Yes, very descriptive. I'm raising that. Okay, here we go. Let's start cooking. Start cooking? Right. <coughs> Have you been cooking? Yeah. No. Oh, hmm. Well, that's. Well, what I do for this map is I go down. Pretty much just get into the cave and run straight down to the bottom where the lava is. Yeah. Um, and then start digging some crap. Mm. Um, and then you can, once you get three iron, you make a bucket, obviously. Oh, uh, there's the... Oh, that's a different one. Mm. Um, get a bucket and then you bung that in the furnace. And oh, you do the lava in the furnace. Yeah. I see. Okay. I don't really need any more wood, although I guess I could make a chest for all this stuff. Um, yeah, what else is there to say about Minecon? It was a lot of fun. I'm really happy that I went. I'll definitely be going next year. Um, I mean, I suppose it depends where it is. But there's yeah. been speculation. Um, I mean, I have my own speculation that I literally just speculate, and so I don't know if that's okay to say. Yeah. I mean, I assume so. So I think, based on the um, where it's been in the past, that Minecon is going to be uh, in Tokyo next year. Now, the reason I think this, and I understand this is like a crackpot theory, is because um, they always seem to have it... Um, where there is uh, a theme park. So they had it at Orlando, which is, you know, there's Universal. And they had it at Disneyland Paris. And so I think they're going to have it at Tokyo Disneyland. And the reason for this is, okay, so there's a theme park. And what it does is it allows them to... Uh, break into the Asian market. Because I don't think a lot... There isn't... Like Minecraft hasn't really hit that market, so I think that's going to be their opportunity to. Um, but I might be totally wrong. While I think the logic is sound, I think I'm a crackpot. That's okay. No, I just I just think it's going to be a bit too difficult for a lot of people. I think the Australian Minecraft people are probably going, yeah, that's <laughs> cool. Um. I think most of the world will be thinking, Jesus. Well, okay, so so maybe um. Maybe it'll just be in Europe somewhere again. You know, maybe they'll just alternate between. Yeah, I, th I think it's either going to be alternating. Yes, I mean, we do know that Orlando is uh, the home of Lydia. Yeah. Her mother was there. Yeah. So there's a strong 
a push for her to make it an all Indo every year. Yeah. But that's not fair to the Europeans and others. Right. So it's very possible that... <coughs> I mean, again, this is all just wild speculation, yeah. right? This is based on no facts or anything. Absolutely no facts whatsoever. So please don't... You know. Um, also... Also, I mean, they they could alternate it between Paris and and Orlando or something. And Orlando, yeah. yeah, which would be you know a, a fairly decent combo. The thing is, they can't find a new theme park every year. Yeah, that's true. And I don't think, for example, that it's going to go back to Las Vegas. But maybe. No projectile protection. Who? Four minutes. All right, I'm coming up. Oh yeah, switch protection. And then we'll do the bow. Oh, we didn't do the bow. Dang it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go. <coughs> Let's see if I can find that Ooh. iron. I was. Chosen for earlier. There we go. How much time? Three minutes. Oh, Sixteen. Hours. Not really what I want, but no, it's an okay food source, right? Put a paragon up there in the corner. Right, where are you? I am in the corner where we normally cook. Our meth. Yes. Um, I have no idea where that is. Because really? we don't normally cook on this map. Because we don't play it. Well, I mean, where we normally cook on all maps is always in that same corner. I think, at least. Um, Holy hell. What? I don't need a lava bucket. I'm just doing it for the experience. How many right. arrows have you got? Uh, seven. Okay, I'm going to put some in this chest. Yeah, I like this thing where your friends can... Ugh, projectile protection. What a world, what a world. Oh, I was going to do the bow, not my pants. Oh, sharpness one, not back one. That nice, makes up very well. Don't need any more iron, right? All right, I'm going to get water on the way. Have you got food? So you have this apples. I've got 19 apples. It's not ideal, is it? Are you Oops. done with the table? Hey, come back. Hmm? Come back. I have a bow. Oh. Sorry, I get a bow in a chest. I put arrows in the chest for you, by the way. Do you need... Oh, you have food, you said. Okay, sorry. Uh, and no, I haven't done with the... I'm trying to table. <coughs> okay. I'm putting it back down. No. Oh, okay, we have your own then. Never mind. So, so I was busy making your bow. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I forgot to say last time I said when I picked up the bow in the chest in the house. But I forgot to say it this time. You're absolutely right. So we, we, we played walls at um at Minecon. We only did one match because it was a long line and there were other things to see and do but um, it is a lot harder to play on a machine that isn't yours because you know basically the person before you changes the settings and a lot of people like to play with like the field of view that's like quake and a lot of people like to um, you know they, they change the sensitivity and all that stuff and it's just it felt really sluggish to play, and then, um, you know, when you're just playing a random map at a, at a convention, <laughs> you don't get any of the stuff that we, we didn't get any of the stuff that we spawn with. It was 10 minutes. Um, and it's 10 minutes to get ready instead of 15, so um, the, two, uh, the two maps, fortunately, that were being played were Island and Candyland, and we ended up on Candyland, which was, you know, thankfully we, we, I mean, basically we know every map really well, except for, I would say, Wasteland. Um, but needless to say, it was, it was a bit of a, where are you going? Mm -hmm. Well, six seconds. Do you want to 
When you want to go someplace? Okay. Um, Paragon Kitty said no base. Good. Oh, there was a great thing. So, so back in that part of the convention hall where the um, where the tournaments were, <laughs> they they had some guys like live commentating it, and um, the guys who are doing the commentary on the walls <laughs> matches kept making fun of sky basers, which um, I really appreciated. You just, you just taking buttons. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, Blue's telling a stupid story. I'm just gonna put a button. I don't think there's anything in there. Apart from this chest with a special potion of fire resist. Oh, okay. Well why don't you just break the wall? Oh, okay, so let's... Okay, okay, I'm coming. Anyway, we totally won the Candyland match because we're really good at walls. End of story. Oh, there's a dude right there. Okay, let's get him. Ow. Oh. Dude behind. Oh, God. Oh, I'm going to die. Running, running away, running away, running away. Huh. Well, sorry about that. Too busy guessing. Too busy what? Guessing. Guessing. Guessing with an A. Okay. What the hell is that machine in the middle? Hmm. Oh, it's a digger. Mm. Yeah, this, this map is just too busy. Too it's busy. too much going on. I mean, we'll probably play it a little bit more, because, you know, why not? But I like the road idea. The road's cool. It's just a bit... Oh, dude, you have so many diamond swords. Give me one. Thank you. Doesn't have anything on it, but... Thanks. Where is... Who else is still alive on our team? Not Paragon Kitty. Great. Well, big surprise there. Oh, he's dead. He, yeah, I was going to say he probably got killed. And the probably the one guy, other guy left on our team is probably some dum dum who's either sky basing or hiding down in the cave. Well, we've got somebody crying on the chat, so that's quite funny. What do you mean crying? Crying about what? Well, we left him out of the game, apparently. About what? We left him out of the secrets. <coughs> we left him out of the secret? Ooh, lava. What do you uh, mean secret? There's a yellow guy, two yellow guys here. On one of the roads. Oh no 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 on fire! There we go. Sweet. Oh shoot! That is a god bow right there. Hello. Yeah, it's, uh, oh no, it's not okay. That's okay. We're gonna run. I forgot what cut we're on. <coughs> He's going up to the left. Oh, it's a guy down to the right as well. Okay. Well, what happened to my teammate? Oh, he died. Yes, this is okay. Oh, you're being chased. I'm sure I am. That's okay. Yep. That's okay. This was a first look at um, thingy, modern. And you know what? It's I'm gonna say uh, not a fan. I'm uh, not really a fan. On the other hand, it's really nice to play a new map because I think to myself, like, ooh, I could play other things. And it's like, <sighs> do I really want to go do more Candyland? You know what I mean? So. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, this is modern. Um, we, at some point, we'll try to do a... Um, God, waffle. Oh, my. I just haven't tried. Anyway, so at some point, we'll try to do a proper run of it. And... Um, so we can show you where, where chests are and things, so that if you are excited about this map, you know, you'll have some idea of how to play it. So um, look for that soon. And yeah, that is all. Bye. Bye.